today's story. Yeah. Ready for the story? Davai. Davai. Davai means in Russian friends, give. Davai Grosh. Okay. So this is, these stories are all from numbers of the early years, and many of them are from one, there's all I think from one Fabringen, 1950 of uh, Bay's ear. Rebbe related, let me just see where this is from. Yeah. Rebbe related that once, once a widow with her mute son, so she's, I'm sorry, I'm not a widow, I'm sorry, a naguna. A naguna means that her husband abandoned her. Now you understand what that, you know, the situation she's left in, and they can't find him, they'll get, and she can't marry living like a, a living widow it's a terrible thing on top of that she has a son that can't speak so they came to the tzemach tzedek and they wanted to uh, to uh, go into him but they couldn't whenever he doesn't say why the tzemach tzedek wasn't seeing them or perhaps anybody i don't know the circumstances so what did they do so they went to the rebetzin the rebetzin the rebetzin chaim mushka <laughs> the Rebbe adds here, like, what sounds like, uh -huh. it sounds like that the Tzemach Tzedek did not see women. But they all did end up seeing him, and they ended up seeing him through, he said, like all the women did, they came to the Tzemach Tzedek, they got in through the Rebbe Tzedek. So, uh, so she tried, but uh, unsuccessfully. Couldn't, uh, couldn't arrange that she should see him, her husband. So the Chassidim gave advice. They said, listen, write down your question on a piece of paper and give it to your son, your mute son. And he's a little kid. He won't be noticed. And when no one is, uh, when no one is around, he should sneak into the Tzemach Tzedek's room where, he, where he's, he sits for Yechidus and hide there. Hide under the table. <laughs> that Tzedek Tzedek comes in, give the tzedek, give the, 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 the pan. Good idea. She does so. So the Tzemach Tzedek comes into his room. Child comes out of the hiding place and gives the Rebbe Tzemach Tzedek the paper. Tzemach Tzedek reads it. And he says to her, tell your mother that your, the, your, uh, your father, her husband, the Tata, is in such and such a place. She should go there. In other words, find him in the bed and we'll arrange a get. So he comes out, he, he tells his mother, the Rebbe said that, that Tati is here and there. The Rebbe concludes, the other day, but he was in a, a total astonishment that both of them were helped. The child speaks, and, and uh, she now knows where her husband is. Yes, by the way, you've all seen the video that's being circulated recently again. This happened by dollars. Look it up. You see that someone brings, brings a, a child, he, he doesn't speak. So the Rebbe asks him, you say, Maida Ani? So the father says, so the kid not, the Rebbe said, say it now. And the kid says, Maida Ani. This is a video to be watched, but it's an incredible thing. But this is the rest of the story. So that was the story. So they came back to the Tzemach Tzedek with the spyless, with the, you know, the very excited. And they said, no, because all the Rebbe, like they played down all the miracle stuff. No, no, look at this miracle. So that's what I said. Like I said, how should I know that he was, he was, he was mute? So I told him the speaks, he spoke, which makes it even greater. Now, here's the, the beautiful part of the story. When the Rebbe and Mushka heard about the miracle, so she says he's not so, uh, she's not uh, so excited, taken aback. The Rebbe adds here, in general, the, the middle of the Rebbe's daughters, he had 10 children, two sons and eight daughters. The Rebbe says here that all of them were great in the day, which means very, uh, literally, broad-minded. Which means, this is a very big, very big uh, compliment, um, a, very, a very virtuous description. Uh, uh, broad-minded, very, uh, it's a good word for this, I don't know, yeah. But, uh, 
expansive minds and, and, and tri not engaged in or moved by, impressed by trivia on any of its levels. So he's like commenting on, on the, on the Rebbe Sechai Mushkin's comment that uh, no, she wasn't so uh, uh, taken aback. And then she added and she said, in the name of her Zayda, her, her great grandfather, uh, her Zayda, sorry, the Alter Rebbe, who said that in Mizrich, Alter Rebbe said, in Mizrich there were miracles that were, that were, that were, they were uh, uh, just, uh, what's the word, uh, rolling around under the table. But nobody had time to pick them up. Why? Because engaged in higher things, in the Rebbe's words. And here we have a lesson for each and every one of us. We have to know, I'm going to quote the Rebbe here, that the main thing is the Iskashavas. To be, our connection to the Rebbe is not, he's a wonder worker, a miracle worker. But the very connection itself, and how does that happen? Each one through learning Torah, his, his, his teachings, his Maimodim, because miracles, they are merely uh, external expressions, his Pashtus. But in the Rebbe's Chassidus, his Maimodim, he's given his whole essence. And his Chayyim Yechidah, the very essence of his soul. So therefore, the Rebbe said, when you see a miracle, that shouldn't add to our connection. And if you don't see a miracle, that shouldn't detract. And if a day will come or a week or a month and you don't see a miracle, nothing, the chassid lacks for nothing. The emissary that continues that if you want, you'll see it also in your, in your life. You'll see how the Rebbe is present and every day there's mercy. But that is not really, that's not the stuff of his inspiration and his connection. Never concludes, this is all with respect to yourself, the chassid himself. But for the other, if you want a mirkar of a bocher or someone, this is the early years, to the Rebbe, so if necessary, you can start with the beginning, telling him a story of a moifas, etc. But the purpose, the objective is not the external miracle relationship, but a true essential one, that he draw him near through uh, the study of chassidus in depth and davening and so on, conducting himself as a chassid should. I need to add, however, there's a famous letter of the Rebbe to defeat the Rebbe, um, where the Rebbe basically argues and says that even though in Chabad, this story, most have always put, were played down, but there's a need today. Today, uh, especially in the that was actually pre-Holocaust, but certainly post-Holocaust post world, um, as we learned in yesterday's Tanya, remember, al Rebbe said, quoting the Medrash, when Hashem created the world, initially he thought to create it only with the middle, the attribute of judgment. The whole point is, judgment means tzimtzum. Hashem is concealed, and we have to find him, and it's our choice, and that gives value to our choice when it comes from us, when it's not obvious. But Hashem saw that the world can't endure, so he partnered, Shittith Imoy Midas Arachmim, Hashem partnered with the attribute of, of justice, which is contraction, concealment, also the attribute of, of mercy. And what is that, says the Al Rebbe? That's the end of quote. Al Rebbe says that's the, the miracles in Torah and the tzaddikim who, through the brachas, etc., reveal miracles. So we see from there, we can't endure without this. We have to have some revelation and some obvious display of, of Hashem's love and presence. And there's always concealment and connect to essence uh, uh, without, without this kind of inspirational, external as it might be, display of Hashem and His, his presence, uh, the world can't endure. And the Rebbe argued this with the Fidi Rebbe, a long letter that, that this generation and, and what's coming will need mercy. And so there is, but nonetheless, uh, we have to know that the, the deeper connection is not in, the, in this, but in, in, the, in the study of Chassidus in a very deep way, in the words of the mind that we just read, connecting to the very Baal HaRatzen, the very essence invested in, in these words and in, and in the Mitzvah and Mitzvahs in general. Okay. Yes, clear. Clear. Uh -huh. 
Yeah, what a wonderful day. Listen, folks, yeah, a little announcement. 